RSI Lynx Rover is out. So is a new offering called the Tumbral Storm, which is a single-seater tank with a size 3 energy weapon, I believe. Let's take a look at them. Let's go. Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am Montoya. All right, beginning with the RSI Lynx. Now, this has been in the works for some time. If you have a Constellation Phoenix, this comes standard with that. Um, refresh my memory. Does the 600i Exploration come with this or not i can't seem to find anything to confirm that i don't know why i heard that or is that true uh double check that for me post in the comment section if that is correct so as far as rovers go this is i guess the um the fancy one it comes with a nice promotional video uh i won't play the whole thing for you anyway there's lots of trees and beautiful things the, the thing that struck me from uh this commercial they put out here is not the rover itself but the environment uh, look how rich the, the trees and grass, how lush the forests are here. I'm thinking this is um, not a custom-made map, but some place that we will actually see. Also, a very cool environment. Where is the one with all the glowy things? No, not that. Uh, not that. Where is it? There. What's that? So, I mean, this wasn't made specifically for this commercial. This is an in-game environment we have not seen yet. Very cool. And uh, out of everything in this commercial, the uh, that struck me as the most interesting part. <laughs> no offense to you guys, you own the links. I think it's a cool little ship. Um, my thing with the rovers is they just need a purpose. And uh, we'll go take a look at the one in-game in a second. So uh, the issue, well not the issue, the uh, cool thing about the little Lynx rover is uh, it comes with champagne. <laughs> And the thing I'm waiting for is a purpose. Uh, the way I play the game is I, you don't really need rovers. You can just park your ship almost anywhere, but if you have to go somewhere under the radar, then yes, you do take a vehicle. Uh, is there a reason to take this particular vehicle? And the answer to that will be there will likely be a reason in the game where they'll want you to use this vehicle. I'm thinking maybe some sort of uh, transport mission where there's a VIP and you have to take them in a fancy ship and a fancy vehicle to get from A to B. Maybe that's where it comes in. But otherwise, if you just like the look of it and you prefer being, you know, all top hat and monocle type player, then yes, this is probably the ship for you. We'll go take a look at that in a second. But first, before we go there, let's also take a look at the Tumbral Storm, which is an assault vehicle, an unstoppable force of nature, blitz overcrowded battlefields and wipe out enemy artillery. Look, the tank gameplay is fun. Um, I also feel there will be more of a reason to use tanks and ground vehicles. There will be planets or there will be situations where they say you cannot take your air vehicle out. There is turbulence, there is ionic disturbance in something or other and your engines won't be able to work and you have to take ground vehicles. Uh, we don't have that yet, but I do foresee a future where at some point they will say to go to the specific location, there is no other way than using a ground vehicle. And if there's any kind of uh, ops or assault, then yes, you will need a tank or the Tumbral Storm. So uh, checking out some of the artwork here. Cool, nice. Uh, it does remind me of a vehicle from another game. That's the interior of it. And uh, it is uh, the front seat is how you get in, like the cockpit from uh, a few of the ships already have. We have, what's that? It is an interior weapon rack. We have a energy auto cannon, which is a size three Hurston Dynamics. And I believe everything else is size 1, dedicated shield generator emitter, right. So uh, 10 meters in length, 7 width, height 3, uh, driver controlled remote turret. So the driver does control the weapons, good, I like that a lot. One crew and goes on treads. Let's look at some artwork over here, beginning with the first picture. Uh, that's how you get into it from the front, so very quick entry and exit. It fits inside the C2, as we can see, obviously. Uh, pretty artwork over there doing a bunker run and a pretty shot comparing the size to the existing tank over there. Unstoppable fortune there, special offer. Let's see the price. Here we go. 70 bucks. Um, not horrible. Actually priced about right. Uh, and I'm guessing there is, that's the war bond offer. Is there a concierge one? It doesn't show up for me because I'm not logged in, but there is one with the two paints that come with it. So 70 bucks cash, uh, 80 bucks if you're using store credit. Um, yeah, you know what? It's a yes from me. Simply because I don't own a Tonk. 
Uh, and I do need a ground vehicle for assaults, and so that will likely fit for me. Uh, be aware that concept vehicles sometimes take a long time to get into the game, but uh, I don't know when this is scheduled. I haven't checked. Um, yeah, for me personally, yes. If you have an existing ground assault vehicle like the Tonk, probably can skip it, but... Uh, Everything I see about this is, yes, I'd like to have one of these in my arsenal. I'll probably go for it. And for 70 bucks, why not? This is something I would probably use, which doesn't happen often. But yeah, I'm sold. <laughs> so with that done, let's go take a look at uh, the hologram for that. And we'll take a look at the links in the game. So here we are. Is that game volume a bit high? Let me turn that down a bit for you. We'll just turn down the master volume there. All right, so here we go. These are the two rover offerings. You'll recognize the Ursa right over there. And then we have over here the Lynx. RSI designed the Lynx rover. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to read this. Oh. RSI designed the Lynx. <sighs> These NPCs, I swear. <laughs> designed the Lynx rover to be a vehicle capable of exploring. Ah. Wide variety of terrains while still delivering a top-rated, finely-tuned driving experience. Okay, I mean, there's not much difference. Same specs between the two, except the one is fancy. I do love the side turret. How that tucks in over there, giving you more clearance on the top when you're in storage. Let's take a look at the inside, coming around the side over here as we go in. So someone already left all the components open. But uh, basically, this is it. Um, comfy looking. Two seats, a nice table in the side. There was a, shame bar, a champagne bottle. I see someone's already appropriated that. But here's a cool little feature. Uh, you click this button over here and up pops your screen, which I don't know if that's ever going to do anything, but that just is a cool looking feature. Let's pop out the other one on this side too because I like the sound. Ah, yes, the stock market. This is where we trade our crypto. This is where you can trade your space bucks. <laughs> You see, everything's in there. Perfect. I'm sold. I'm sold. Also, there were water bottles which have disappeared also. Uh, the cockpit is right over here. Nice two seats. One there, one there. And actually, you know, let's sit down and you can watch the steering wheel and everything else pop up over there. Reminds me very much of a Tesla, right? Nice. Very cool. And a big fat self-destruct button right next to your hand, right where you need it. All right. Enter remote turret, weapons, doors, open exterior, those work, very nice. I mean, we've seen rovers before, so nothing overwhelmingly surprising in there. Uh, all the components, everything else fits right over here. So if you see these buttons, the arrow points to what opens and closes, you click that. And that closes up as the components up top here. We have... Um, I don't know what that script is, but uh, things are happening and it's busy. And your weapons rack on the right over there to store your weapons. Uh, I like it. Um, I don't use rovers often, but I do, as I said in the beginning, I do feel there'll come a part in this game where there, you will require rovers and ground vehicles to do certain things. Uh, and if you want to do it in style, then there's your vehicle. Those of you who own the Phoenix, congratulations, you have one already. Uh, and uh, someone checked for me if I haven't said yeah, I did before in the beginning check for me if this does come with a 600 eye exploration I don't know why I thought maybe this does but let's make our way down to see the holograms. Let's go Let's start on the right hand side and work our way down There's a couple of very very cool holograms in here. I know you will like them beginning with is that the tow truck? It is the Argo SRV. This is the tow truck of Star Citizen whole bunch of uh, magnetic thingies there which can tow ships behind you. I see this being popular when the game comes out with them. There will be plenty of times your ship gets stuck. You can't refuel, you're out of fuel or you're damaged. There's no one to repair you. This is the ship that which we're pulling you out of trouble. I can see these being very useful and I know a lot of people want to play as space truckers. Yes, this will be a very, very cool ship. Next hologram, let's go. Ooh, this is the, uh, I'm not going to say the Polaris, is it? Yeah, the Polaris. Um, it is a torpedo boat. This is definitely going to be very, very deadly when it comes to any time you need to torpedo stuff. 
Uh, what was the complement? Something huge, you know, 12 or 16 torpedoes. It was pretty damn big. And on top of that, it holds uh, in the top over there, there's space for a single fighter. So very cool ship. Uh, I see this being very popular when the game comes out. It is both deadly and it's also your little pocket carrier. Probably carries about four Furies, I would guess. Haven't tried, but it will carry a bunch of Furies. It's uh, supposed to carry a light fighter in it. Tons of cargo space also. Uh, great little ship. I'm looking forward to seeing it in the game. Um, I think I own one. I don't recall. But uh, what I definitely do recall is this, uh, which is my favorite of all the holograms in here right now, which is the Perseus. Now, uh, size 7 guns, top and bottom. It is deadly. Nice cargo. It's For me personally, this is the ship that speaks to me. It is not too big, not too small, just perfect in size for you and two or three friends. Holds everything you need, enough cargo, enough firepower. And if you just want to use it solo, you can. Well, technically, you can use any ship solo. <laughs> but uh, I don't know why. That's just the, the, the design of it, the way it looks. Uh, this is also the reason I skipped on buying the Galaxy because I already had this one. And I felt it was just a bit of an overlap. Not that I do the exact same thing, but um, definitely as far as purpose and size, uh, the Perseus is the ship that speaks to me. Now, well, where is the tank? Is this it? No, these are a bunch of tumbrils. I don't know why these are taking so long to get into the game. Uh, I think I had one and it was upgraded. It was an LTI token. Upgraded something else. I don't think I'm going to rebuy that. We'll see when it comes out. And here we go. The new storm. All right. What do we have here? Tumbrel storm. Originally introduced in 2606 during the Second Tavaran War, the Tumbrel Storm single operator mini tank was built to blitz battlefields and take out enemy artillery. Reimagined from the ground up to be faster, stronger, and more impactful than ever, the latest storm is a true force of nature, well suited to the frantic landscape of modern warfare. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I see a time, as I mentioned before, where air power will not be possible, that you do need to use ground vehicles. You'll be forced into using ground vehicles. As it, as it is right now, ground vehicles are pretty easy targets uh, from the air, but there will come a time, I feel, where there'll be reasons why you cannot use air, and ground vehicles and tank gameplay is going to be awesome in this game. It just will be. So uh, the fact that it's pilot-controlled, uh, the gun is uh, pilot-controlled, makes this uh, a sell for me. The Tonk, I never did because, I don't know, I was just waiting, and I'm glad I waited because, yeah, that speaks to me. So there it is, pretty cute. I like it. Size 3 gun. I wonder if it's going to be interchangeable. It's probably going to be bespoke. Not going to hold my breath for the ability to change that weapon, but uh, I like it. So there you go, ladies and gents. Hope you'll enjoy the tour. If you like my channel, what do you think you should do? Think about it. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Your comments below. Appreciate it. Catch you in the next one.